This is a brand new one, right? The, the one, one that won the set. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we were supposed to do it on Sunday, and then Casey ended up coming to one of the shows and doing the whole thing there. So oh, we ended up just doing okay. it. Rock so I didn't realize that. Cool. Yeah, but I'm in Lord Minster now. <laughs> How'd that happen? I'm just gonna turn this well, off. I lost the, the CMT thing, and then I just applied for a So this is a brand new job for you? Three months. Yeah. Good for you. So yeah. where are you from? Penticton, BC. Oh, that's a little different, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Getting used to it, though, slowly but surely. Yeah, good. Awesome. All, All right. right. Go for it. Ready to go? Yep. 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 Okay. So, are you excited for tonight? I am. Always excited. It's, it's, the tour's been great. It's been fun. We're, we're kind of broken down, as you can see. It's just piano, another guitar player, and me, and we're kind of just telling stories and, and having fun, just pretending, you know, basically trying to make it look like we're... Uh, in, in someone's living room and we're just playing some songs and, and uh, having a good time, everybody's singing along and stuff. So it's, it's and that's been, been working fun. throughout the tour? You know, it has. With these kind of venues where it's soft seaters and, you know, we've been playing anywhere from uh, 500 to 1,200 seaters, kind of just smaller ones that you can kind of pull that kind of thing off. If it gets too big, then then uh, if the audience gets too big, it's hard to do this kind of thing, but it, it, uh, it, it just works great in a place like this with great sound and and really uh, an intimate kind of, you know, smaller crowd. Right, and how's the energy from these smaller crowds? Well, to tell you the truth, the reason I did this tour was because uh, I've learned through the years that smaller towns, you come to smaller towns, and I mean, I love playing the big towns too, but, but it's, I love coming to these smaller towns because everybody's really appreciative of, of people coming because they don't always get people coming through, and, and they have these great facilities that, that I think a lot of people don't realize they have, and, and, uh, and so, yeah, the people are just always really welcoming and just, and just great to us, and and I actually started out seven years ago opening up a show. Um, I actually my first tour across Canada was opening a show for Paul Brandt actually, <laughs> and uh, I did that. We did this. It was an acoustic thing, and I learned, I learned on that tour how 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 great the small towns are, and and since then I've got to play, kind of you know all over the world and all the big towns and stuff, and I and I, I really do love coming to the smaller towns and, and getting to see the people. And when you are a small town boy, you can't I am yeah. Worry? Yeah, and that I think that's probably part of it, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I grew up in a small town, and I, I still enjoy that that kind of, uh, just that attitude and, and that, feel. Uh, that feel. Yeah, yeah. And you get into a small town, and it just you just feel comfortable, and and uh, I think I guess maybe that's part of it why why uh, we enjoy it so much. Yeah. Now you moved from Nashville back to Calgary, right? To get your creative energy back or something. I read that in an inter interview. Oh, well, it was. Is that working for you? It is, you know, it was the best thing I ever did. I actually, I still have my house in Nashville, and right. I bought a house in Alberta just to be closer to my family. My family, and I, I felt like, uh, well, I was lucky that in my, my my career had gone to a place where I could do that. I could, I had all my contacts in Nashville, and I lived there for seven years, and I, I still can go down there and do everything I used to do down there. But now I can be, on my off time, I can be closer to family, and I felt like, uh, yeah, as I've been on the road for like twelve years, and I, I just. I kind of got sick of calling home and just finding out about all the things I was missing out on. I mean, I was having all this this great time out playing music and getting to do what I love to do, but but uh, coming home for Christmas and seeing my nephews, you know, one year being this big and next year being this big, and, and they didn't really know me, and I just wanted to balance my life out a little bit. So it's worked out great. It's actually the best thing I did for my career, too, because it's really, it's given me, you know, different song ideas, and, and, uh, and it's just made me happier. I mean, I, there was a point there where music was starting to become... Uh, I mean, I, I was losing some of the some of the love I had for music because I wasn't wasn't getting the other part of my life fulfilled. You know, I wasn't getting to see everybody, and, and now I get to do I get to play music again and have that. So it's it's just it really fun again, and just uh, yeah. I'm just really enjoying every minute of it. Well, you're a family man, and and uh, I read also that your whole family is pretty much moving to Calgary. Is that true? Well, kind <laughs> of. Yeah, my my parents uh, have now moved there. My brother just moved there a couple of weeks ago, and I have a sister that lives there, and now I have one more sister that lives up in Fort McMurray. And, uh, and convincing so her to get down there? Well, you know, it's weird because we love Fort McMurray. It's just weird because I had to be in a place with an international airport. I basically, I couldn't fly out of, you know, I used to, when I'd come home to visit, say, f in, uh, and if I had to fly out one time, you know, I'd fly across the country. It would take me all day because, you know, you have to hit three different airports. Right. And so I, when, when I moved, I, uh, the reason that we moved there, we loved the city, but also it was, it was a, a big airport and easy to get around. And, and so... It's weird. I, we obviously want my sister to be down and all of us together, but but it's weird because I'm such a fan of Fort McMurray and, and uh, really. And you know, well, yeah, you know, I know. I mean, I grew up there. I mean, it's it's. Mm -hmm. I know it's different. Some people come there and, and they're just working there, and, and they might not get the same feel as I do from it. But yeah, I come back and there's all the memories of growing up and just a great place to grow up. And I left there when it was thirty thousand people uh, twelve years ago. So now, I mean, it's up to like seventy-five thousand. It's gone crazy since I've 
since I've actually mm -hmm. lived there. But I, yeah, I do love going home and love getting to, to see old friends and, 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 you know, my, there's, you know how it is, your hometown has all these different memories. You yeah. just kind of go down memory lane every time. But, but yeah, so we, we definitely want my sister to move down <laughs> eventually. But, but now she's up there, it's a good excuse to get home and, and visit other friends and get to visit her as well. So. Yeah, well, in Fort McMurray, 